KLIF News and Information Time is 640. I'm Amy Shadroff. Dave returns tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, the day after tomorrow, Texans will be able to openly carry firearms with a license. Justin Sparks is an attorney with Texas Law Shield, and he joins me now live this morning to break down the details of this new law. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Amy. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. So if you do open carry, how should you carry that weapon? If you choose to open carry, honestly, my advice is um, you have to have it on a belt holster or shoulder holster. Uh, And additionally, my advice is to wait until March 1st or later. Um, You're allowed to do it starting January 1st, but there's going to be such a knee-jerk reaction to all of this that I would hate to be caught up in some wave of, something someone wasn't responsible for. I I would wait until the novelty wears off. Really? Really? Until people are comfortable and used to seeing people open carrying? That's exactly right, because there's so many people that aren't going to know, and they're going to immediately call 911 uh, and and put, if you open carry, put you in a position that you don't want to be in. What should you do if you are open carrying and you have a license and, and and you're legal and you're proper and someone, like, totally freaks out? I would call 911 um, if, if there is some sort of threat. You know, if someone totally freaks out, if if you're at Walmart or, or wherever you're at, um, someone totally freaks out, I, I think you grab a store manager. Uh, I think if it gets to a certain point, you, you call 911 if you absolutely have to. Um, you said uh, you should have the weapon in a shoulder holster or a, a belt holster. Is there a penalty if you don't follow those holster guidelines? There is. By law, the way the legislature wrote this this new statute is if you open carry, then it has to be in one of those holsters. You can still conceal carry wherever you want as long as it's not seen. But if it's an open carry, it must be in a belt or shoulder holster. How many um, people do you think will open carry percentage wise for folks who do have a concealed and carry license? I think we're going to see the first two, three months of 2016, I think we're going. You're going to see it almost every day, um, and percentage-wise, I bet realistically probably 20 percent, and then I think it's going to drop down to less than five percent after about three months. Um, and you know, here in Texas, we have almost a million CHL licensed handgun owners. Right. Do you need a different type of permit to open carry, or can you just use your CHL permit? You can use your CHL, and what they're doing is starting in 2016, instead of CHL, it's just going to be called a handgun license, and it's going to work for everything. And so if you currently have one, it will still be valid in 2016 on, and they're going to replace those as they come up for renewal. And as they come up for renewal, is there any type of new training that you have to go through? They have not changed the classroom or range time or any training whatsoever. Uh, a lot of these weapons are still going to be banned in government buildings, school zones, things like that. So uh, if you are open carrying, you just have to be aware of signs or, or where you actually are? You do. They uh, Essentially, the same buildings that you are preclu- precluded from carrying now is going to be the same in 2016. What they have done is we've all seen these 30 out six signs where everybody commonly refers to them as the private businesses can put out um, saying we're not allowing people to carry guns in our, our property. Now they have those and the 30 out seven sign and 30 out seven sign applies just to open carry. So if you're a business and you don't want people carrying in your business, you have to have two signs now. Okay, one gotcha. One for concealed, one for open. And there may be some businesses that don't mind if you carry in a concealed weapon, but don't want you to have the open carry in which they just have the one sign present. Exactly right. And I think we're going to see a lot of that. What happens if you're stopped and, and an officer sees your, your weapon and asks you for a permit? So you're required to show it if they ask, but in the statute the legislature did not put in a penalty if you don't show it 
So, uh, but realistically, what would happen is if you don't have it and it's in, um, you know, a holster or something like that, then they would just arrest you for unlawful carrying without a license. Uh, and then you'd later have to go to court and prove that you had a license. Right. But there's really no penalty for not showing it. There is not. There's not a direct crime. And and what's interesting about your vehicle is you don't have to have a license to carry in your vehicle, but it must be concealed in your vehicle, uh, in the console or glove box or or a storage box of some type. Um, Now, if you have a license and you want to open carry in your vehicle, it still has to be in the belt holster or shoulder holster. You can't have it just in the passenger seat. You can't just have it next to you, just just in case you needed it. No, you could be arrested. All right, I'm sure you're going to be very busy start starting January one, answering all kinds of questions and representing all kinds of people. I absolutely will be. Well, Justin, thank you and happy New Year, and uh, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, Amy, and same to you as well. Justin Sparks, attorney with Texas Law Shield, KLIF News Time, six forty six.